First of all, I'm gonna introduce this video in Danish because we're in Denmark, although I'm not so good at it, but let's go. Hi, all salmon, or welcome to a scorn So guys, today I'll be showing you bits and bits of my town and uh, we're actually going to start from here, right here where we are seated at. And on the camera is my bestie Melissa, she's a bit shy, so she doesn't want to come on the camera, so yeah, let's go. Where we are seated right now, it's literally the center of Omro. As I said, it's urban right in English and Omro in Danish, yeah Melissa? Yes. Yeah, so where we are right now is basically where everything happens. As you can see on that side, that's where the concerts happen when there are things going on in the town, the bands, music, all that, it happens right there. And where we are right now, during Christmases and all those festivals, this place literally turns into a Yulmak. What is Yulmak in English? Christmas market. Christmas market. See, <laughs> she's good at it, you know? So uh, yeah, that's basically it here. We can actually show you our best place to eat when we're here or the best place that we take our kids. Like on the right side, right here, there's a buffet place where you can go and eat sushi and all those good stuff with your family. And on the right here... They have very cheap and nice brunch, this yeah. one. <laughs> that's why you can get your brunches it's literally so delicious and melissa on the camera is the girl who hooked me up to that place so yeah. this is where we had our first date oh my god with yeah. aya and elena we had our baby <laughs> guys yeah. we had our first date here right there and we had brunch together oh literally a memory for kids in the let's go guys oh and first of all we're going to show you the place that we always go for our, dip, our dates together with my people and uh, it's literally right here yeah yes the name of the place is cafe crit and literally serve the best salad in town Esther, do you remember this place, this tiny small tunnel? Yeah, guys, so me and Melissa, Melissa is an awesome photographer. So normally, we take pictures for, uh, what is it called, Melissa? For a boutique shop, yeah? Yeah. Just right across the road, and this is where we took some of the most epic pictures ever. I'll show you guys. It's a jumping picture. Happy so girl. What? Yeah. <laughs> Basically, the oldest city hall in this town, yeah, Melissa. Yeah, Tengamne Rohuse. Yeah, Rohuse just means the townhouse. So here is where some people actually get married, and it's really, as you can see, it's already written like a tourist attraction, as you can see up there. So yeah, and we took some Halloween pictures here. Yeah, that's pretty so, scary. So literally. <laughs> It changes with seasons. If it's Halloween, everything becomes Halloween. If it's Christmas, everything becomes Christmas. And so, if it's Easter, and, and there are some huge eggs. Yeah, or some <laughs> huge eggs. Basically, that's it. <laughs> so guys, in each and every town in Denmark, there are different symbols that represent the town. And in this town, this is our symbol. We are not actually so sure why there are three fishes, but yeah, they're just but we have a harbor right here so probably that's why fishing and all that we ain't sure but we're gonna ask so uh, we're people, gonna google it we're gonna google and if you're a resident of this town we are so sorry we're gonna find more information about it thank you This 
that pizza place down there if you ever find yourself in the town and you don't have too much money it's the cheapest nicest tasting pizza in the town So this is the church, it's called St. Nicola Kierke. So guys, this is St. Nicola Kierke. It's one of the many churches in this town. And, but it's the only church inside the main city, yeah? And as you can see, because of the times we are in right now, all the places you visit will have those signs that's those are just the uh, signs to tell people not to be so close to each other to follow the hand washing routines yeah so that's it guys you can take that one I literally fell in love with Vane sauce. You know it, Melissa? Yeah, I like Everybody, a yellow sauce. Yeah, yellow sauce. <laughs> Everybody loves Vane sauce, especially with steak. Yeah. Nicely made steak. This is the place to be. And they have nice shrimp cocktails. Yes! Yeah. Oh, and it's Thursday morning, so that's why the streets are not so busy because people are still, yeah, it's a kind of a
So guys, this is the end of the walking street. It's basically the quietest part of the town. As you can see, there's not, not much going on right now. It's just shops, some are closed, some of them are closed, some are open. So and on this side, it's where Melissa took me for sushi the first time. Oh, Yay! it's further down there. Yeah, there we head off. It was actually on my birthday. for watching this video thank you so much for subscribing thank you so so much for coming with us on this tour so more is coming more of me and melissa you guys i will link her facebook here and her instagram also they so cannot can find me her. on facebook sorry oh, why <laughs> melissa doesn't want to be found but anyway i'll still link her there so nice. you can follow her photography she's a really really good photographer so if you're ever in town and you want a photographer, I'll hook you up with Melissa. So thank you so much, guys. I love you so much. And see.